naar zo'n zaken, dan zijn niet zijn woord gevallen. Die daar leest over nummer 50, ook een stukje van. First, um, Vietnam. <laughs> we as human beings, I don't care where you are, how old, how young. Um, a fight, a physical fight is always frightening. It's always fearful. But that's part of life, is, is being courageous and being able to still walk forward and, and, and solve whatever problem is in front of you. Just like the, the life each and every day, we all battle different things. Whether it's from jobs, whether it's from uh, you know the struggles, but we still have to find a way to survive each and every day and then accomplish that goal. That's kind of how I, I put my mind to it. As far as I, um, I know, it's, it's something that you definitely desire. I mean, it's going to be hard not to desire that. I mean, three of your uh, what, seven champions are from Africa, from West Africa. So it's very difficult not to want to plan something like that. And it's you know relatively uncharted territory for them. So to be able to come in, maybe do something that, that will change and push the sport, not only the sport forward, grow it all, way, all across the masses. I think uh, that's something that they're definitely interested in because that's something that helps them as well as everyone else. Now I want to know how you felt today not being by the Antarctica, because I don't have clothes to have, to Israel at this area. How do you feel? What you so far away today? Then secondly, what are you doing to ensure you keep inspiring these young lads like them? So thank you so I keep the mean if you will. Then there's a young lady in the U.S. I want to point out to them right now. Patra, she's quite a good too. What are you doing as a big brother to inspire this set of them? Um, um, yes, they. I forgot the first part of that. Oh, yes, yes. How I felt. Yes, uh, I actually felt that being this, this far. When you're close, as my brother and, and everyone and, and Berna pointed out to me yesterday, it makes you want to start a fight. <laughs> so I actually felt good watching them, but. You know, he did something. He, he did something I knew he was gonna do, and that's being complete control and dominate the fight from start to finish. So that's very important that we continue to show everybody how far ahead we are of the rest of the guys in the UFC. And also to answer the second part of your question is, you know, when I was born and, and when I got into sports. I didn't know exactly what I was gonna do. I didn't know how I was gonna to get to where I was gonna to get to. I just believed and I trusted myself in getting there. But by the time I got here, I realized that there's a big and a great responsibility to be able to share myself, my knowledge, my insight in any way with the rest of the Nigerians that are going to see that. They understand it. They want to take on the same journey and be able to help. So, I know I have a great responsibility. I don't take it for granted, and I will do everything that I can in my power to be able to help. 